Hey, how you doing? I just want to talk about gang stalking and how I get followed around by invisible people. The gang stalking never stops. They're like absolute parasites, like just attached to me. They're constantly like, you know, give me bowel movements, make me go to the toilet. Um, you know, they're just, it's like they're drugging my coffee and things like that. Um, you know, I feel drained. My energy's like fucked up and things like that. Um, you know, just everybody around me is pretty much like agents everywhere. You just seeing agents everywhere, people coming out. Or, you know, doing their tactics and things like that. Just acting fake around you and things. While you're being gangstalked by, like, invisible people and things. Like, they can see me being tortured by these people. Like, people I walk around on the street. My my family. Things like that. They, they can see these fucking parasites, like, torturing me every day. And doing all their psychological warfare tactics on me every day, you know, things like that, and, um, you know, I've been sodomized in front of my father, um, you know, I've been, they're, like, on my penis, like, humiliating me in front of my father and things like that as well, um, everyone I talk to on the street, like, they pretty much, like, attack my penis, so, like, you know, if there's anyone out there that's having problems with their penis not working or whatever, or, you know, um, there you're being humiliated you feel humiliated down there in your in your private area well more than likely you've got gang stalkers using mk ultra mind control tactics right um you know and they do that they purposely attack your penis and things like that to humiliate you and break you down as an individual they're all just tactics that they use um you know i was locked up with a guy in in hospital and um what he told me is that um you know i spoke I, I met a guy that's just like me more or less and um you know this guy that i'm talking about he had to tuck his dick between his legs every night you understand like every night they put like he said he said they would put fucking shit down his dick you know what I mean? He told me they would put like this cheesy stuff down the end of his dick, right? Every night. And like, and they would click inside his ear and they would attack him as well. And, you know, um, you know, he had to tuck his dick between his legs every night just so he could get some sleep at night and not be harassed and tortured. Like that's how, that's how they attack people. And, I was lucky enough to meet someone who's going through similar circumstances. I don't tuck my dick between my legs every night, but they fucking humiliate my penis constantly. <coughs> they tell me how they tell me how pathetic and blah 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 and how small I am and I'm not sexually good or anything like that for anybody. But you've got to just get that out of your head, man. You understand? You're a, you're a functioning human being, like you know if you've like I'm I've had relationships before these gang stalkers showed up. You know what I mean? Like I've had real relationships with people where I was with them for years. You know what I mean? We were like together for years, and there were no sexual problems. There was no arguments about that at all. And um, when you meet a gang stalker, they attack your genitalia. When you meet a gang stalker, they'll try to humiliate your your penis or they will sodomize you. Or they'll sodomize if you're a woman, if you're a woman, they'll go up your vagina or they'll go in your they'll sodomize you as well. And, you know, if you're a woman, you know, they'll call you a whore, prostitute, you know, lesbian, um, pedophile, like they'll they'll try everything. And if you're a man, if you're a man, they'll try to call you a pedophile, homosexual, um, you know, arsonist, murderer, whatever they can really do. They're just like, they'll try any tactic just to make you feel guilty, to make you feel depressed. They'll use any tactic to bring you down in some sort of way. And attacking your genitalia, if you're a man or a woman, is a big thing with gang stalkers. And they do that 
to a lot of people around the world and I met somebody as well who was going through the same circumstances similar to mine and you know like it's it's out there they like you know they they attack they attack your whole body you know what I mean not just it's not just your genitalia that they attack they hit you in the head with frequencies like they'll burn your feet um they'll like stab you in your joints like in your elbow joints in your knee joints like um in your rib cage in your back like um you know you won't they like attack you pretty much in every part of your body like you know they attack even the bottom of my feet you know what i mean they're constantly like attacking the bottom of my feet or you know like hitting me in the head and things like that draining me of my energy and things like that when i walk when i go for a walk when i go for a walk they hit me with frequencies so that i can't walk around i can't exercise i can't move around like when i try to exercise even try to, to stay healthy you know because like when you're gang stalked like you've got to exercise you've got to train and like um you know they try to stop you from doing that they'll even try to stop you from training and exercising so that you're like um you you won't go to the gym you won't train you won't work out you won't do anything they just want you to just lie there and just cop abuse and things pretty much and not do anything with yourself a gang stalker's tactic is to make you unproductive it's to break you down as an individual they their their sole purpose is so that you don't function as a person you don't you don't have a job you don't have a career um you don't have any love life you don't have a love life relationship you don't have anything like that they manipulate all those things about you your financial situation you know your relationships and your family and you know they they manage to turn everyone against you and you know you're living in a world full of gang stalkers you're living in a world of agent smiths in the matrix more or less and you know those are just some of the things that people do they you know they humiliate your genitalia you know um they sodomize you things like that like this morning i've i've gone to the toilet like three times you know what i mean done a shit three times already and you know they there was one time where they made me shit 20 times in one day and like i you know like and you know i was in so much pain i tell you um you know it's it's not a good feeling that these these gang stalkers do and i've for 18 years i've been suffering from from being stalked i've been you know i've been suffering for 18 years just being stalked monitored harassed abused all that um you know uh, a lot of people um also go through the same things that that i mentioned earlier and you know they're they're attacking everyone and uh, like um there's a few real people left in the world you know otherwise you know there this world would be ended already if there weren't any real people left this world would have ended already believe me um you know it's just they're just all like playing out a role pretty much just going around gang stalking people before you know this they want everything to collapse you know understand like these stalkers they they want everything in society to collapse and you know that's why they attack you as an individual you know um you could be anybody you could be anybody on the street and like um you will be victim you will fall victim to gang stalking and they'll accuse you of being a homosexual a pedophile um they'll humiliate your genitalia you know they'll call you a whore a lesbian prostitute um you know like and they'll drill it in your head constantly you know what i mean they won't let let up on it or anything like that and you know um the, I've, I've been through everything i've been hit in the genitals sodomized um hit all over the body with frequencies um you know uh there's not one part of my body that they haven't they haven't abused or assaulted from the ends of my fingertips to my toes 
you name it, they just attack people, you know. And I know other people as well. I know plenty of other people that get gang stalked and get harassed and, and you know, get taught a cyber torture and all those electronic harassment that they I know heaps of people and you know there's I could I could probably show a hundred of pe hundred people on YouTube that are going through the same thing you know and we exist out there and like you know there's real people left in the world you know and um we're here to tell our story basically on how we get humiliated we get we have to go out and deal with gang stalkers every day you know what I mean and you know it's just they broke my family they broke they broke everything my whole life my job everything and they've done it to heaps of people out there in the world you know um good honest hard-working people and they were all like victimized by stalkers when well, they're all stalked in the end and um it doesn't stop it never stops and you know people end up homeless um you know they're just in jail incarcerated um, in an institution, in a mental institution. Uh, these are the tactics that gang stalkers do. They, they want to either kill you, put you in jail, incarcerate you, or just torture you and, you know, and just like, and just like they, you know, they experiment on you like a guinea pig like that. And, you know, they just do all their things they, with their weapons and their drugs and things like that, and they experiment that way on you. And gang stalking's been around since World War II, since the uh, Stasi program, you know, since they've been doing Stasi Eastern Stars, things like that, you know. And you know, they've one every one in six people in Germany was an agent, and you know they, and then they started attacking innocent civilians, and you know, so many families were ruined and everything like that, and people talked about Stasi and that. And it was only just starting to be exposed then. Now they've got it on a much more sophisticated level where they have attacked everyone in your neighborhood. They've turned everyone in your neighborhood, your friends and family, into these people, these agents and things who are all manipulated, you know, to go against you in some sort of way. Even though you've known these people your whole life, even though you've dedicated your life to these people, um, you know, since you, the day you were born, but like somehow gang stalking overrides it, you know, um, you know, the, it's just, it's the evil, like, it's just so evil that they can take over your family. That's the only way I can sort of describe it. And everyone is like in on your gang stalking. And, you know, that's how fucking sick the program is, is that they've taken over everybody and like, They'll all turn against you for no reason at all, really, other than other than you're not like them. You know what I mean? You're different. You know what I mean? And you're being attacked for being different, just living in your own world and things like that. And, you know, um, just the gang stalking will start that way. You'll just be a, a different individual. You'll just be working. You'll have your own opinions, your own mind. Um, you know, your own life really. And then someone um, comes along and they start stalking you and they try to like persuade you um, to change your religion, your sexuality, um, your, your political views. Um, they want to change everything about you. They, they actually want to dumb you down as a person. In my cases, in my instance where I'm dealing with gang stalking, there you're talking you're talking to these people on a very primitive level and you know um they they try you can tell they try to dumb dumb down the conversation every conversation that i have with with these gang stalkers it's it's really dumb it's primitive it's really fucked up and um you know they talk like robots and things like that as well say the same thing over and over again repeat themselves and it's really robotic and they do they do the same shit every day. You know, the same tactics. Torture you on your penis, up your ass, um, you know, threaten your life, 
uh, use your parents, use your, use your family to manipulate you, things like that, anything they can do, you know, to basically, like, make your life a living hell because, you know, that's the gang-stalking program, you know what I mean? They're, they're trying to create, collapse everything in society to create their new world that they want to live in. And it's going to be a world where people are so controlled that they'll be actual robots, that people will be have the mark of the beast, they'll, they'll wear microchips, they'll have them implanted inside them. Um, you know, they're, they're going to be pretty much like monitored every, from the moment they walk out their house, you know, even when they sleep at night. And, you know, they know, they know you're on the toilet, they know everything about you. And that'll be our future, pretty much, that these gang stalkers will bring on. They'll bring on where they'll pretty much lock everybody down like like a prisoner. Um, you know, they'll they'll just like and then people will just live these robotic lives more or less. You know, and um you know, and they'll just be like criminals, um, treated like criminals more or less. You know, the just innocent ordinary citizens who have been manipulated will be treated like criminals. And you know, um Already, you see what's happening in the world. People are starting to be treated like second-class citizens. Um, if you don't do a certain thing, if you're not, you know, willing to to take the you-know-what and, you know, and already people are starting to be look like second-class citizens. If you've got any political views or anything like that and, you know, and they'll attack everything about you as a person. And they'll try to break you down. And, you know, you can see that'll be the new world order that they'll be running. You know, um, you know, everyone's got to have these passports. Everybody's got to be mark microchip, marked, accounted for, you know, checked, um, quarantined, you name it, like um, isolated, like, and they'll do all those things. And the gang stalking program, you know, if you... If, already like isolates people from one another the gang stalking program like makes you lose your family your friends everyone you know and you know except now in this situation they're gang stalking the whole world what you see now is that the whole world is now a target and you know they're just attacking random people at will because they're so desperate in collapsing everything in society that they're willing to like attack little children with all kinds of things or old elderly people like in their in their nursing homes or whatever and you know like it's all part of the program it's massive psyop to to take down everything in the world and you know it's soon sooner or later like it's we're very close to the end where um we're going to run out of money we're going to run out of resources you know, and like sooner or later, you know, um, everything will be exposed for what it is because they're not caring about the people, you know what I mean? They, they've got no respect for people whatsoever. And, you know, this planet, right, what they'll say about this planet, our humanity as a civilization, what they'll say about our civilization is basically that we polluted the earth, we disrespected people, like we just disres we hated each other, we fought each other, we killed each other, we had no respect for each other or the planet, like we dirtied up the planet, like, you know, we polluted the earth, we did all those things, you know, that's the type of message that, you know, the watchers in the sky will be saying about us, you know what I mean, they you know, there's, there's watchers in the sky probably flying over our heads, just looking at us, shaking their heads, just saying how how disrespectful, how terrible these people are to one another. And that, you know, that'll be the reason why this civilization will end. You know, and it's because the reason why everything will be destroyed is because of how people behave and things and treat one another. And that's that's the real honest truth. That's the real truth. Why, why people will all die and things like that. And, you know, um, 
You know, there were many civilizations before us. Um, there was a few. And, you know, you can tell if you just look in your Bible, um, you know, there were men, giants, all kinds of different species of men that were running around and they were marrying, they were marrying, taking wives and doing all those things. And God was unpleased with what they were doing. And, um, and there was a flood. And, you know, if you look in your history and probably before the f flood, there was another civilization before that. And then before that, there was another civilization before that. This is just, just another cycle in, in the world, in, in, our, in our universe. And like, it's just another part of human evolution. And, you know, humanity or the next type of species that's going to live on, inhabit our earth. You know, it's just more or less the next step in evolution. And, you know, like, yeah, people... And they're going to say people didn't care about each other and people were disrespectful to, and true and polluted the earth and fucked everything up. And, you know, it's just, we've got to just like expose this and wake people up to what we're seeing around the world and that. And, you know, people need to unify and come together and speak out against all the, all the gang stalking, all the psyops that's going around, all the conspiracies in the world. You know what I mean? They're not conspiracies anymore, you know. And slowly, slowly, everything will be exposed. And with that being said, take care.